So I'm just going to drain some of this into a cup. Leave it about half of it. There's about a cup right there. I will add some more water to it and more sweetener and more ginger later. And here's my older bug. Dispose of this. And here is the ferment liquid that I have to work with. I have a pint or two cups right here, and I'm going to use two tablespoons per bottle. So it's just another way to measure it out. So I need eight more bottles. These are already clean and sterilized and ready to go. Wait, the new ginger bug smells deliciously of ginger. I'm still working on my ginger beer recipe. Ginger beer as in like root beer, but it's ginger instead of um, the other various fruits. And I will let you know when I get that perfected. And we are only going to fill them up to about right here because you need a little headspace with um, with these. <laughs> By the way, if you refrigerate these before you try to open them, they won't be quite so explosive, um, and in that they will not spew everywhere as badly. But you still might want to open it over a sink. So I have some orange juice, which Kelsey loved this one, um, and I'm going to start feeling, I don't have enough to fill all of the box that I do. It's not like alcohol in that you can fill it up to the top because alcohol is um, not a wild ferment like this is. You can turn this into a, more of an alcohol, but you would have to put a lot more sugar in your first ferment possibly in your second also to increase the alcohol content but we don't want that we just want the soda we want the good 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 bacteria 
So the great one was really a hit with Kelsey and those are all gone. So it seems about perfect for our taste to leave these out for two days for the second ferment and then refrigerate it to stop the fermentation or slow down the fermentation progress process. It doesn't stop it. <clears throat> a little bit of room so I don't knock anything off or turn these sideways that would be bad because it would probably be like dominoes and just go Whoa. and then I have a really big mess to come we have our handy dandy cap applicator thingy here I don't know what the technical term for it is it has a magnet so it will hold it in place so you just put the cap right there stick it on the bottle press down like that and it's as easy as that or you can put the cap on the bottle Bye. these are really easy okay. I had one before that was like Oh my gosh, it was so hard to press down. This one actually, if you watch, it sticks right here to the magnet and as you push down, it pushes in and then down. It's easy to push down. Back when we used to drink, there was a brewery, or there still is a brewery here in town called um, Grill House. Man, did they make them good. Uh-oh. Okay, that one mangled. <laughs> that one got mangled. Maybe I should just stick it in here. Um, they still do this by hand. They don't... Um, they don't use a machine to do this. This is still done by hand. Oh snap, well I guess it's going to be a mystery because some of these were orange and some were pineapple and I forgot to set them up. When I moved them around I shipped it where they were. Oops. Same with me. It'll be a surprise. Okay, here's one of the ferments. This is the uh, orange juice and you can see the orange bits right here of the pulp, which is fine. That will mix in there. It's still really good. It is really good. And you can see the sediment as it lifts from the bottom. You see that? So I know 
know this one is orange. And these two are great, but you can tell the difference in the color of those. And we're done. These right here, I'm going to feed these and um, let them ferment again. And you can, if you don't want to use it very often, you can put it in the refrigerator to slow down the fermentation process, just like a sourdough starter, and only feed it once a week. Um, it could probably go like two weeks or so. But yeah, this is really good, um, healthy soda. So. And that'll do it for today. Yahoo bless you and keep you and give you shalom. I hope you enjoyed this video series. And um, God bless. Until next time.